All right, guys, today I'm gonna try to make a bracket uh, for some pod lights on my truck. Stay tuned, should be great fun. found some scrap metal skid plate that's what I'm gonna be using to try to make these brackets wish me luck okay so I measured the hood uh, where the bolts go so this was already here measured it got that gap it's like three three inches or so um, with the bends and everything, I think this is going to be right, basically right here. I'm just going to cut this or maybe right here along this line. And then I'm just going to use this. And I'm just going to cut straight across right here. It's not going to be the most pretty thing, but it should work. I'll get that. And then I'll just have to bend, bend it a little bit and it should be set. Drill a hole somewhere around here, I think. I think I mis measured that, so I think it'll have to be somewhere around here. Uh, for the pod light to get bolted to, but should be sturdy enough being a skid plate. Oh yeah, I just took a bolt out of my hood uh, mount, so I'm gonna find a drill bit that'll actually fit this. It's actually almost the perfect size too, right in there. Um, has that washer head on there, so it should should hold. I might put an extra washer in there depending, but um, depending how space is and whatnot, but it should fit quite well in there. So I'm just gonna drill that hole with the right size and we'll be good to go now remember start with a small drill bit before you go to the big one want to make sure you got a pilot hole for that to get into Boom, just like that. Now, let's go see if it'll mount up. Yeah, it's after work and it's starting to get dark outside at night. So, I'm gonna have to bear with, but I think this will work. Just have to figure out exactly where to bend it. And it's gonna have to be three inches. I measured it three inches. So three and a half. So I'll probably bend it right here just to see if I can get that. And then we can see if we can mount this on there. I measured where I needed to bend this at. It's about three inches in. I'm just gonna use this right here. Just basically bend it. It's it's sturdy, but it's I think I'm strong enough to bend it. I'm just hoping that it's strong enough to hold a, a pod light without vibrating. That's the, the big thing. Oh, and this is not even bolted down.
thought I bent it the wrong way there for a second. We'll see if that will go ahead and mount up. And if that works, I'll bend the top right at that dot. And that'll be a nice spot to drill a hole. So the pod light just sits in there. Let's go try it. All right, let's see if this will mount up here at all. Essentially, I'm trying to see if it's far enough away from the hood. So now I'm going to have to pitch a little bit. Oh, no. It actually might be. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to twist this just a little bit, or at least on the top bend. Probably need to. Not sure how well you can see that. There's this rubber piece right here that's getting in the way of this metal. So I might just cut that. Probably be the easiest. Um, or I might just cut that, cut the rubber, take off the rubber. Probably be the most simple thing to do. Push it out of the way somehow. We'll figure it out. All right, so what we need to do, essentially, is twist that. Got to twist this side out a little bit. Other than that, it should be fantastic, but it's getting right in the way. Let's go do that. Necking the crap out of this thing. Well, that should that angle should work. We'll see though. Gotta make sure it shuts. Looks like it lined up relatively straight. Oh yeah, it'll be golden. Check this out. Check that out. I'm just gonna take this, and bend it over so it's flat, and that'll be. I'm gonna figure out how to cut this so it wraps around this nice. But yeah, and then I'll trim. You know, I'll paint this. You know, I'll make it nice and round. Paint it. All of that but uh, that's not turning out too shabby. And I'll just bend it essentially right here. Lay it flat, drill a hole right here for the pod light. And in theory, it should be good to go. And there won't be a lot of hangover. There won't be a lot of, won't be a lot of hangover here. So it should be pretty sturdy. We shouldn't vibrate too much. That should give plenty of space for the wipers and all of that, but we'll find out. All right, let's see if it gives enough room for it. Oh, uh, not quite, not quite. It bumps it slightly right here. All right, cut it. A little rough draft I'm trying to bolt this on see if the windshield wiper clears this time Perfect. So 
now all I do is gotta bend that down. It will be solid. So I just took a gray, gray Sharpie, marked across where I need to bend it. Do that, then I'll drill a hole once the pod lights are in, so I know exactly how to how big to do it. And then I'll round out all these edges, spray paint it, should be set. So it clears everything around there, but I don't think it clears everything I don't think it clears everything under here. I think I need a little bit longer to come up a little higher. So it's a good thing this is just a mock-up. I think it'll work out great. I just need to get the other a little bit a little bit longer um, uh, vertical support here and then I think it'll be perfect it may still work if I can get it back far enough behind behind the hood you know if the bolt of the pod light comes right here just behind the hood it'll work um, but I won't know that for sure yet so if I can get this you know just right here I think it'd be perfect well that was a quick little uh, redneck uh, makeshift bracket for some pod lights they don't make brackets for a 2008 Honda Ridgeline so this is what I'm doing um, maybe I'll start making them and selling them for people that want pod lights on their Ridgelines it's the next day we're going to take this fabricated template and we're gonna measure it out on this thing and we're actually gonna make one that looks halfway decent and hopefully it works. Okay, so got this all marked up and such. All I did was take this, I laid it flat, and I just traced the outside of it as I rolled it, right? So it should get approximately there. Good piece, good part about this is this piece here, this will be going to the bottom of the hood like so. And all these markings are where I need to cut and bend and all of that jazz. But the skid plate actually had a hole almost exactly where I needed it for the pod light. So I'm gonna see if I can adjust the bends in this a little bit, maybe get it back just a little further and, and bend it a little taller. That way I can use this without having to drill another one. Why not? So that's what I'm gonna attempt today and uh, hopefully it works out. Stay tuned. I don't see why not. Let's give it a shot. All right, as you can see, it's the next day, right? A lot of frost came in. <clears throat> see if we can get this mounted up. Well, just a little tweaking. I think I just need to flatten that out a little bit. All right, got some lights and got them uh, assembled with my bracket. I did have to cut a little bit of the bolt off. It was uh, probably a quarter inch. I didn't have to, but I'd rather have a little bit of space, a little bit more space between the hood and um, the bracket or bolt uh, so it doesn't get bumped or whatever less likely to hit it right um, everything should mount up real nice I just painted the the brackets I'm gonna get those mounted and then I'll show you what it looks like on the truck with these they didn't come with any extra wire so this is as long as it is about a foot so I got And then I'll get those wired up into a switch right in the dash that I've actually already had a hole there from with the fan and lights and everything. 
So I'll just uh, put in a switch there and everything should be functioning well. So we'll find out in just a little bit. Oh, didn't turn out too bad. Good clearance. And obviously you can pivot this. You gotta loosen it to do so, but pivot it out to the side if I want. Yeah, not too bad. Let me know what you guys think. Get this other one mounted. And then I'll show you the finished product. Just gotta get it wired up with the switch so i gotta find a switch first <laughs> but looks wise i think it turned out all right let me know what you guys think of that they seem pretty sturdy might be a little vibration in them, possibly. I'll drive in off-road. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. I think they'll do all right. Let's get on to the electrical part of it and wiring them in. So what I'm gonna do to wire them in, I'm gonna take this wire, I'm gonna put it, I'm sorry about that lighting. I'm gonna put it right into here. We're gonna feed some extra wire all the way to this side. Made it up with this side. I'm gonna stick this right in here. There's actually a wiring harness right here, as you can see, right down in there. We are going to feed the wires through that grommet, which comes out right here. We're gonna feed it right with these other wires down in here. Right into the cab, should be good to go. Uh, because when I looked at the schematic, there was like a switch, a fuse, and a relay that I needed. Parts-wise, I have the wire, but I didn't have any of those things. I had the switch. I guess I didn't have the fuse or the relay. So I was like, you know, it's going to cost me 10 or 15, maybe even 20 bucks to get all these parts. And then it's going to take me an hour or so, you know, half hour to an hour to wire it up. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just gonna go get their wiring harness that they made to, so you, all you have to do is put on the ends and plug it in. Saves me a lot of time. It was only 20 bucks, so I was like, it's a little bit more than the parts I would probably get, but it kind of makes sense so I don't spend so much time on it for me. And I kind of want to just get it working. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'll wire it up and we'll give them a shot. Cause it is dark out, we'll be able to see how bright they get. There we go. Okay, so I just got this wired up. I just got this connected here at the battery. It's not the cleanest job I've done, but uh, so I'll probably have to redo that wire and whatnot, but that's fine, whatever. I just wanted to get it in so it's functional. I routed this wire under this rubber, but through here, out to that one so it was nice and clean there came out here routes out obviously it works um well the switch works when i touch the wires and whatnot mounted the relay just to this i just grabbed a bolt and a nut and just bolted the relay there um that's what kind of made this kind of ugly but whatever um all right let's see if this thing will will go Yeah. 
Okay. Woo, those are bright. Not too bad. It's getting pretty chilly outside. It's not half bad though. it up decently obviously there's some lights coming in over there but as you saw not too bad <coughs> what do you think of the look I think it's definitely a, a good addition there you go guys <laughs> made the brackets and mounted the lights uh, got the wiring harness all done up tonight um, all together if I would have been able to do it all in one shot and I think I would have been, if I would have been able to do it all in one shot, I think I would have been able to do it in a few hours. Um, if I had the lights and the wiring harness, it would have been done a lot faster. Uh, but let me know if you guys want uh, a template or something, I can make one up for you. Um, or maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that on my Patreon is, you know, if you're a Patreon, I'll give you the template for that if you'd like to make stuff. Um, it wasn't that hard uh, to do. I was actually a little intimidated. Watched a couple YouTube videos, and there was a guy that was making one for a new Ridgeline, uh, like 2020 or something, and or 2021, I don't know, but uh, the Gen 2. And he, uh, he had a CNC machine and all this stuff, and I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's, that's a little intimidating. So um, I actually just got some scrap metal uh, I don't know if it's uh, how it's going to do vibrating, uh, going off-road and stuff. I know it's sturdy enough to hold it, uh, but I don't know how much vibration is going to be in there. Hopefully not too much. Um, nonetheless, if there is a little bit, the biggest reason I wanted those lights was to give it a little bit more um, downward uh, lighting because I have the light bar at the bottom of my bumper or right under the grill, and so I, I wanted to have something that was a little bit higher to show... Um, create those shadows uh, or have a little less shadows from, from the lighting on the bumper. So I um, wanted something a little bit higher, but it seems that I think it'll work well. Um, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys like the video. Like, share, subscribe. Appreciate you guys sharing. I have a goal that by the end of the year, we could be over a thousand subscribers. So please like, share, subscribe. I know there's some that uh, aren't subscribed, but nonetheless, uh, share it because I, I've my goal is to hit a thousand subs before uh, New Year's of 2022 so we only got a couple months but I think you'd be done we've only been doing this channel for uh, six ish months and we're almost at 600 subscribers I think we could really really grow it when we get to a thousand subscribers I want to do something really crazy and and uh, maybe that's when I'll throw out the announcement of something big coming so um i'm really excited about it you should be excited about it as well it's gonna be unreal um but yeah maybe maybe that's what it should be is a thousand subscribers i'll make that announcement and show you guys all this content that's about to unfold uh guys appreciate the support and uh if, if you haven't go to renegadeheadquarters.com grab yourself some apparel and uh if if you want to support the channel directly go to patreon.com and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.